All right, hi everybody. Welcome to Dogs on the Run. We're really excited that you're here again today. I don't know that the Browns are very excited that they were there yesterday, though. They lose uh, in a brutal game offensively Woo. to the Baltimore Ravens. It's a game that, you know, the Ravens probably could have won a little bit bigger, and I was kind of hoping the Browns would do more, but offensively, they did not look good at all yesterday. No, they looked terrible, and this is the problem that we have right now. North Turner is this great offensive mind. The only problem is he doesn't have an offense to run. He is handicapped because he does not have the right players for his system. Get used to it, Browns fans. Josh Gordon coming back is not going to be the answer. All of a sudden, ah! The Browns are going to score 30 points next week. Not going to happen. He doesn't have the players to run his system. Until that happens, the Browns aren't going to start scoring enough points to win football games. That's going to be the ugly reality we're in I, right I don't now. know. The biggest thing I saw yesterday is that Chris Obanaya has no business being a fullback. He can't block, and he didn't help Brandon Whedon at all. Brandon Whedon didn't help himself, but he didn't help at all. All right, we want to introduce you to somebody else that's going to be in the show today. i got to move your coffee over there. Uh, that is Eric, the referee, but he is mute because... We cannot hear from him all day, so he's got a little board. What do you want us to talk about today uh, on your little board? You want us to talk about Brandon <laughs> Weed? That would be great. <laughs> all right, well, we'll do that. Uh, we do have one little issue that's going on right now. We can't actually hear what's going back on in our IFP. Can you hear? No, I can't hear uh, you. I hear want, you. We're going to let you know that. Okay, we want to tell you how to get involved in the show. You can get involved in the show by using Skype, and that's Dogs on the Run. So you call into us, you just type in Dogs on the Run, you'll find us on Skype, and then you'll be able to Skype into us. On our phone, it'll be 216-431-3820. On Twitter, it's Andy underscore Baskin. On Facebook, it's Andy Baskin, W-E-W-S. We invite you to use the hashtag, uh, which would be uh, Dogs on the Run. Dogs on the Run. It's pretty easy. It's as simple as that. All right, let's go back to the newsroom. We're going to talk to Connor Kiesel. Connor's going to talk for a couple seconds and let us know exactly what is going on. Oops, what exactly what I'm all over the place today. Uh, exactly what is going on on the world of the internet. Connor, what's up, man? He doesn't hear us either. Wow, how about that? <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep going right here, too. What we actually do here, in case someone was listening to us, we actually hear Studio 21 coming back. Yes, we do. Here, so you know that. Anyway, uh, Skype, dogs on the run, uh, phone 216-431-3820, Twitter, Andy underscore Baskin, Facebook, Andy Baskin, W-E-W-S. Uh, I want to, let's talk about a couple of the main topics here now. Browns fans are going to sit there and they're going to say to themselves, should Brandon Whedon be the starting quarterback next week? He's dealing with a thumb injury. And so we see him lose at, uh, walk out at the end of the game. Jason Campbell uh, comes in at the end of the game. They kept forcing him one way, and they kept forcing him basically north. And every time he went there, he looked awkward, didn't look good. You're going to hear Brian Hoyer's name as well. Oh, yeah. So uh, The backup quarterback, as we know, Browns fans, is always the number one guy in town. Jason Campbell didn't work out with the first team at all last week, and why should he? Brandon Whedon's your starting quarterback. That's the guy that should be getting all the reps. He obviously looked like he had no connect yeah. at all with the first team, and that's what happened during this ball game. Jason Campbell was put into a tough spot, but again, he's the backup quarterback. He's got to be ready to go, but he, again, he got no work with the first team at all last week. We don't know how long Brandon Whedon's going to be out with this sprained thumb. Let's just do the simple math, Andy. Uh, Monday, they come in and watch film today. Tomorrow, they're off. By the time they get back to work, it's Wednesday. You know that thumb is probably as big as the Cuyahoga River right now. It's swollen. It's, ready. It, it's not ready to go. Now you're looking at Thursday. By that time, you're in a walkthrough mode. I, I would be surprised if Brandon Whedon plays football this week. Unless there's a quick heel and he's a quick healing guy, they got to get Jason Campbell ready this week to play the Vikings on the road, which is no easy task. The Vikes haven't won a game this year. You got Adrian Peterson. We'll talk all about that throughout the show. My biggest concern right now is this offense is so horrible. It, it can't get any worse, and I thought it couldn't get any worse. You look at yesterday's game, they technically could have got blown out. I mean, the Ravens missed two field There's goals no early in that game. You're thinking if it was not the game for ends the defense. On the 20-yard line, yeah. Mike. I mean, they, here, seriously, they could have punched it back in. 14-6 makes it look like it was a game, and it, it wasn't. A game. Joe Flacco did not look good, and I give all the credit in the world to the defense. That, and we'll talk all about the defense this morning. We'll have plenty of chance. But as far as Brandon Whedon's concerned, you almost have to approach this week as if he's not part of your plans. Now, does that help going forward? Boy, I tell you what, Josh Gordon comes back, but again, he hasn't been able to practice with the team now for two weeks. How quick does he get back in? Okay, there's there's your long ball that's back in. I, I'm telling you right now, I, this. This offense is not an offense as far as North Turner is concerned. I think he's strapped with his playbook. I think he looks and goes, I, we got about a page to work with here, Chud. <laughs> I can't go past that. Well, I, I just, you know, 
I look at this team and I say, okay, Brandon Whedon, is this guy a championship quarterback? In the war room, and I don't know if you heard me talk about this last week, but in the war room out in Berea, they've got a sign, and it says that what's going to lead us to the promised land essentially is a championship quarterback. When I watch Brandon Whedon, I don't know that he's a championship quarterback. But I also know, and I'm not going to sit here and defend Brandon Whedon all morning. He doesn't look good. He reads. It, it takes him too long to get rid of the ball half the time, and he's got a lot of issues while he's playing right now. But the offensive line, again, yesterday didn't look good. They did not look good. And I'll go back. I went back and watched that fourth quarter three times last night. Chris Obanaya can't pick up a block. The guy is not a fullback. He's not a blocking back. You want to make him your backup running back, go ahead and do that. Make him your backup running back because that's what he is. He's not a fullback. Yeah. They need somebody when they put six guys up on the line, somebody's got to be able to pick up that sixth guy. And that's not what we saw yesterday in the fourth quarter. There's got to be a guy that's a free agent that's got more snaps and is a better option than O'Neal Cousins. I'm sorry, but time in and time again yesterday, watching him get blown by and watching guys bear down on our quarterback, you're, you're one hit away. Well, maybe we are going to be playing Brian Hoyer before it's all said and done because the way our quarterback's taking hits, what's it, 28 hits he's taken uh, I, in two weeks? But that, you, you're you not going to last. You know the argument this week is going to be Brian Hoyer. Why don't they play Brian Hoyer? Maybe he can pick up this offense a little bit better. Maybe he's got better experience. Look, after all, the guy was in New England. He understands Bill Belichick. you got to believe that Michael Lombardi believes in Brian Hoyer. He liked him before. He said that even when he was working at NFL Network. So I think you're going to have a battle to see who's going to be uh, the starting quarterback next week if Brandon Whedon can't go. You know what? I'd be fine with Brian Hoyer, to tell you the truth, because to be honest with you, I think he may be the Browns' best chance to run the team. I, I, out of all three quarterbacks, he would be probably my first choice. Not because he's a local guy, but because of the qualities you mentioned. You know, studying under New England, studying Tom Brady, studying in that system, being a guy who, you know, even ran the offense. And yes, it was the preseason, but what else are you going to do? I mean, if our only chance is to see him run a team in the preseason and he runs it the way he ran it, you got to give him a chance. And if, if he's your guy and Jason Campbell becomes your backup, because to tell you the truth, Jason Campbell's a journeyman. He's a, he's a nice backup. And on most teams, he'd be a great number three, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't be surprised if Jason Campbell runs for more yards than he throws if he plays next week. Okay, we've got personal <laughs> fouls, so we can't go back to the newsroom. Uh, what we can do, though, is we're going to take your tweets. So Andy underscore Baskin. So if you've got any questions for us, we'll hit it. We've got a great lineup coming up for you a little bit later in the show. Josh Cribbs is going to join us. Kenny Rhoda is going to join us. We're going to talk to uh, Garrett Downing also. Uh, he is from uh, Ravens.com. used to work on the team here as well. Uh, referee uh, Eric, Eric the Mute, what do you think about uh, Andre Knott? Because I think we can get to Andre Knott at some point. Should we hear from Andre Knott right now? What do you think? Should we hear from Andre Knott? All right. All right. Andre Knott, uh, we'll uh, have a little conversation with you. You guys talked yesterday uh, after the Ford Sports Sunday, which was a great show. If you missed it, I don't know why you're not watching. Seriously, it's the best show in town.